hi everyone welcome back to a new video in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a Facebook pixel code manually on your Shopify store when you try to install a Facebook pixel code through Facebook app on your Shopify store it's really easy all you need to do is just connect your Facebook account connect your Facebook business manager account then connect your page and eventually your Facebook pixel but if there are some issues like you do not have access to business manager account or you do not have admin access to any page or even admin access to the pixel then there are some issues and you are left with no other option than to install the pixel code manually and that's what I'm going to show you in this video so the first thing which you need to do is copy the pixel code from your Facebook ad manager account uh, to make it things easier I have already copied it here on notepad the only difference would be you will have a page ID here in, in place of X and you will have another page ID here in place of X. So I have just removed the page ID of the actual page for which this pixel code uh, was copied for. Now the other thing is when you copy your pixel code from your ad manager account you won't have these three lines of codes. What these th three lines of code means is Facebook pixel is going to track one more event in addition to the page view event and that is the purchase event and the purchase event will have a value and will have the currency now when you just copy it by default without making any changes you won't have these three lines of code and if you copy this code without the three lines and paste it on your shopify store manually you will only be able to track uh, page view events and not add to cart events or purchase events or any other events so in order to do that make sure that your Facebook pixel code has the event codes as purchase event code or add to cart event code or any other event code right now I'm only going to show you how to track a page view and how to track a purchase event because the URLs on which a Shopify store works specifically for basic plan is the whole checkout process uh, gets carried on on a different URL for each user and at last there is a thank you page but then the URL of the thank you page is different for every single user who completes the checkout with a different order ID or order status page so in order to fix this what we can do is uh, let's say first we are trying to install the pixel code manually on the store and in the second step we'll install the pixel code manually on the order status page or the checkout page so that we can uh, track the purchase events so let's do first thing let's copy it actually first remove these three lines of code and now I'm going to copy this and just going to press ctrl Z so that I can paste those three lines back as it is now I'll go to settings sorry not settings go to online store and then go to themes from themes go to actions and edit code from here go to theme.liquid and under header tag you can paste your pixel code for the page view event and click save once it is saved now go back to settings go to checkout scroll all the way down and you will find another option called additional scripts under additional scripts you will see an option order status page and you will have to paste this whole code including these three lines that is the purchase event with value and currency so let's just copy it all and paste it here and click save so what this does is it installs your Facebook pixel code on two different things one with just page view event on your actual Shopify store and another with page view and purchase event on your order status page and that is because the order status page or the checkout page is always on a unique URL for each user and it always has a unique ID in its URL so we cannot uh, track purchase event directly but Shopify has this really easy feature where we can just paste the code one under the theme section and other under additional scripts on order status page so that we can track the conversions well if we are not able to connect the pixel or our Facebook account through the Facebook app so I hope guys you have found this video helpful 